Stephen Wolf, Independent Map, was asked on his latest YouTube video if it would have been better to just not bother with Brexit and accept that the UK remains in the EU. He replied, oh no, absolutely not, to not bother and to not fight for something we absolutely believe is right would have been a travesty of our nation, a nation that has had to deal with those people who have betrayed us before. I made a recent speech about a British king in 646 who was betrayed by his brother-in-law to the Danish, who attacked in the north and killed our last English king. The same in Harold in 1066 when family members betrayed him to William so that the French were able to conquer us for 300 years. Blair, Adonis, and Clegg are only of the same ilk that see Europe as a much more important controller of us than our own nation and our own people. Mr. Wolf painted a worrying picture about the threat of paying the same amount of money each year to the EU, but not having a voice he said, regulatory divergence which is an essential element of free trade and the ability to grow will be non-existent. I believe that our border will be uncontrolled, we will say it is ours, but we will pass it through so much legislation that we will effectively have the same thing. I think we will join up with so many different areas that we will be paying the same amount of money, but we'll do so without a voice, and we will not have a vote. Get to Brexit news, Stephen Wolfe used history as a comparison to the betrayal Tony Blair has undertaken Blair, Adonis, and Clegg are only of the same ilk that see Europe as a much more important controller of us Stephen Wolfe. Met the Brexiteer dismissed talk of a possible second Brexit referendum vote because it would hand dignity to those on the Remain side. He said, we are being betrayed over the original arguments that we put forward for Brexit. Let us be clear, we wanted to take control of our borders. There is no control of our borders if you are giving EU citizens advantageous visas compared to those across the rest of the world, and we are making no changes in the numbers that are coming through. We wanted to take control of our money, but we already know we are paying into certain institutions until 2060. We wanted to take control of our laws, but it is absolutely clear from the House of Lords that they are trying to keep us in the European system, the European courts of justice, and also in the human rights aspects. We wanted to take control of our trade, and how can you take control if you are in the customs union or a form of customs union, whereby we follow the EUS rules in absolutely everything. The only thing we will not be in is the European Parliament, or have a single commissioner, or have a judge on the courts of justice. In every other aspect we are effectively remaining in the European Union, as a vassal state, 